Our guest reporter Johnny Nelson gets a tough time from a man who's boxing clever after getting out of jail. Oh, to the story of a boxer who's trying to make up for lost time. Yes, as a teenager, Richard Hales from Sheffield was regarded as a top prospect until he was sent to prison for kidnap. Well, now, after serving seven years of a 13-year sentence, he's free again and determined to make the most of his second chance. Well, his trainer, Brendan Ingle, reckons he's one of the most exciting prospects he's ever had. So he sent the recently retired former World Cruiserweight champion, Johnny Nelson, to find out just how good Hales is. Out of the blue, I received a phone call from Brendan Ingle saying, Johnny, I've got a little gem I want you to spar with. I thought, I'm not missing a bit. Why not? Can't be anybody special. So this is little gem, Ben? Gem is going to be the next time and they're to here. Honestly, I could be wrong, I've been wrong. He's ready for action, but why don't you give him a spar and see what he looks like? Oh, it looks like I'll be calling him, sir. Oof. <laughs> He's about six foot seven, six foot eight, and he's about 70 and a half, 18 stone. But uh, he's got good movement, he's got good accuracy, and he's got a great attitude. Touch gloves. That's it, off you go. Well, Richard rolled in here about over six years ago, seven years ago, and he trained for a few months. And uh, I was right impressed with him. And then all of a sudden he disappeared, just completely vanished. And uh, I no matter what inquiries I made, nobody knew where he'd gone. When I've got sentenced, um, the immediate thought that comes into your mind is your family. You see your family sat in the dock crying their eyes out, but I'd also done what I did, and I'd hurt the victim's family as well. Did you think you could deal with it? At first, yeah, I thought I've got no choice to deal with it. And I've always, my mother's um, raised me to be, to be, raised us all to be strong individuals and um, accept consequences for our actions. Anybody got a step ladder? <laughs> so a few weeks ago, who walks in here on only Big Richard? And I looked at him and said, I can't believe it. He says, well, I'm a bit embarrassed. I says, what's up? Well, he says, I've just done six, seven years of a 13 year sentence. I says, what? How many people did you kill? He says, well, I didn't kill anyone. Keep your right hand up for your knee, your hand. Use your height, use your height. I thought I was a big tough guy, you know. I got out of prison at 18 and a half stone. I walked into the gym, um, and um, Brennan's son put me in the ring with uh, Junior Witter. And I'm like 10 stone heavier than that guy, and he knocked 10 bells out of me. That assured me that brute force and big power doesn't really matter in the ring, you know, so I adjusted to moving around more. Keep the pressure on them, Johnny. Time. Should we have a clap there? Should we have a clap? Should we have a... I think he's really supple for a big fella, bro. Just think... Uh... Well, he seems to got you breathing heavy. People have said he's 27, 28. And he says, well, how long's a piece of string? The box is clever. And he sorted himself all out now. Well, people will avoid him like the play because of the size of him as well. Uh, and now Lou says he actually looks like an athlete for a, for a heavyweight, where most of them are just big, massive fellas. He looks like an athlete with it as well. What would you give him out of 10? Give him 10 out of 10, bro. <laughs> hey, yeah, 10 10 yeah. <laughs> I honestly think that your, your, your past life has helped you uh, be more disciplined and will help you be more disciplined in the future. How do you think you, how good do you think you could actually be? World, world title level, world class. Well, there's nothing to stop and become British, Commonwealth and European champion. And people said to me, you're mad, he's 28. And everybody's wondering where he come from. We've got him, you watch out for him, he's going to finish up champion. We will keep a close eye on Richard. Good luck for his future. We're also going to be keeping...